Hello friends! Today we're doing spread number 80 out of our 1001 terror spreads. This spread is for goal setting. Specifically for that one really big goal. That one greatest desire that you have for your life. And you see an opportunity to take a step towards it. This eight card spread is to examine that step and see what its potential ramifications are. So getting into an explanation of the spread, we are going to have six cards in a row and then two in the center above it. Starting in the bottom row on the left, we've got card one, which represents, is this the window of time I've been waiting for? It's an easy yes, no answer for the tarot card. Number two, is this step I'm contemplating realistic? Again, simple yes or no question. Card number three, am I ready? If not, when can I expect to be? Card four, who or what will help me? Card five, who or what will oppose me or disagree with my course of action? Card six, should I modify or compromise this step to make it less disruptive? Card seven, what is the short-term ramifications of this decision if I go through with it? We're looking at like a six month window here. And card number eight, what are the longer term outcomes? Think five years. What can I expect to see from this? So we're going to shuffle up and see what the cards have to tell us. Once again, we will be using the Supernatural Tarot for this demonstration. And as always, this is how I would interpret the cards if I had a client in front of me and these were the cards that came up. Okay. One, two, three, four, Oop, that's two together, five and six. Need to scoot these in just a touch. And then seven. Card number one is the Fools Reversed. In this deck, being the Supernatural Tarot deck, the Fools are the Winchester Brothers. They are our erstwhile heroes, always down for a fight and loyal to each other to a fault. As is typical of the Fool card, the Winchester Brothers are cautioning against foolhardy action. Plan well before you do anything. Re-examine this opportunity before you take action on it. Card number two, the Knight of Blades reversed. Corresponding to the question, is this step I'm contemplating realistic? We have the Knight of Blades represented by Abaddon. In the show, Abaddon is one of the Knights of Hell. She is impulsive and powerful and tries to overthrow the King of Hell when the opportunity presents itself. Being reversed, there's information that you're missing. Don't risk at this moment something with on faulty information. Card three, am I ready? The Ace of Bones upright. In this deck, bones correspond to wands. The one of bones or the one of wands is about an intellectual beginning. It's the beginning of something you're learning. I would say, yes, you are ready. But like the previous two cards suggest, there is still some missing information and plan accordingly. As I've heard semi-regularly recently, you can't know what you don't know. Don't be afraid to ask for advice from people who have been where you have been, where you are before. Card four, who will help me? We have the Queen of Goblets reversed, being represented by the character Ellen Harville. Ellen runs a bar where hunters frequent. She is aware of the dangers of the world. She also has a daughter who is her blind spot, you could say. True to form, the Queen of Cups is a powerful ally when their emotions are in check. Look to who in your life is a calm and level-headed woman. If you can find out why she is 
not currently her normal level-headed self and help her resolve that problem, she will be a fantastic ally to you in taking this next step in your life. Card number five. Who will disapprove or oppose me in this course of action? We have the Page of Goblets, represented by Becky Rosen. She is a super fan of the series of books detailing the adventures of the Winchesters. She can easily get carried away by her emotions, by her desire for the perfect romantic ending. Representing the person who is potentially going to oppose you, it feels like the opposition is coming from the self. That the desire for the perfect dream, the perfect success, the perfect implementation is getting in the way. The dreams are good. The goal is good. But don't be so paralyzed by perfectionism that you don't make forward progress. Card six is the Six of Goblets. The Six of Goblets is about memory. In its upright position, it's more fond reminiscing. But in reverse, it is the being stuck in the past. So to answer the question, should I modify my dream to be less disruptive? Look at how it's affecting your present. Don't get so caught up on the past that you can't see the changes that need to be made for the present circumstances. There are never ideal circumstances. Just do your best. Card seven, the short-term outcomes of going forward with this choice. We have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is completion in the terms of either finance or home life. This is a very encouraging card. If you take the cautions of the previous cards of don't get too wrapped up in the past, verify your information, proceed with caution, things are looking good for the next six months. Things are looking like they will come out balanced. Card number eight, the longer term outcome, looking at like five years. We have the world, completion, also very good outlook. So taking this all together, you need to take action, but verify the information that you're acting on before you do it. Gather allies that help you compare the past to the present, but don't get stuck in the past. Take action. That completes the demonstration of this spread. As a reminder, there are now links in the description to my Discord server, my personal website, and to my coffee page, so you can leave me a tip if you are feeling so inclined. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!